Okay, let's cover the degree factors, uh, degree set, and multiplier. These are the three fine tuning tools for drawing a roadmap chart. When you get the opening screen, you have the opportunity to adjust native price in the case of the Square of Nine training software by 10, by 100, or by 1,000. And that enables you to take low price uh, tickers, for example, euros in native format might be a dollar forty one or a low price stock, and multiply it by ten, a hundred, or a thousand so that you get some uh, a three or four digit number to work with uh, on the screen. And the reason for that is that you're working with square roots of, of the numbers of the uh, prices in order to draw the grid lines. And if you have very, very small numbers, you're going to be working with very tiny uh, square root increments, and you're going to get a very cluttered chart. The degree factor enables you to uh, work with those numbers, and we'll show you what happens if you experiment with the degrees. So you can see that you do have to experiment to get a decent looking roadmap chart. The degree set uh, comes in either 90 or 60 and it allows for an additional amount of fine tuning. Uh, you can see with the 60 degree set uh, going from 0.5, our next increment is 0 0.5833, 0 0.6677 and with the 90 degree set our increments are 5625 and 6250. So you get different increments with each set of degree factors. Generally, you work with 90 degree sets with stocks, uh, commodities, and forex, and 60 degree sets uh, with bonds and financial instruments. That's not a hard and fast rule, and I think it's often worthwhile to experiment with degree sets to get the best looking roadmap chart that you can. Uh, we showed you on the opening screen how you can multiply native price by 10, 100, or 1,000 in order to get a, a decent looking chart. Uh, sometimes that's not enough, and in those cases, which hopefully will be rare, you go to the multiplier. Now, the multiplier will not change the appearance of the price scale, but it will use the multiplication factor for the internal calculations and in drawing the grid. And you can see what kind of effect that might have. We'll uh, click on the uh, 0.10 multiplier, redraw the grid, and you can see that the grid goes off kilter now because we've multiplied internally uh, all of the prices by 10%. By the same token, if you multiply them times 10, uh, you would also get a grid that was that was off kilter. In most cases, you want to leave the multiplier at 1 and change it only when you can't get a decent looking roadmap chart uh, using the degree factor, the degree set, and the price multiplier on the opening screen. Now, the way a roadmap chart works, and I think its greatest practical value is that as soon as you suspect a change in trend has occurred, you can draw the roadmap chart, channels and all. Uh, obviously, we're looking historically here, but let's, let's just say that you, for one reason or another, you know, thought the March 14th, 2007 low uh, was a trend changing bar. The grid would be drawn exactly the same way that it appears now. And what that does is it kind of gives you a look ahead on what what kind of, of trend performance you you might see over the next several weeks. If you just flush out the swings that are currently on the screen, 
uh, you get some vital information. Uh, you can see that this swing lasted 84 trading days. This swing lasted 24 trading days. This swing lasted 39 trading days. And this swing lasted 31 trading days. So just with the four swings on the screen, you can see that the bull swings have lasted longer uh, than the bear swings. And the dimension of the channels themselves will give you an indication of where prices are likely to travel uh, during a trend that probably will not last uh, more than 84 days or nor less than, than 30. Uh, that's one reason there's the chunk function, that you can go back and see what swings have done. But you can just draw some very broad parameters about what to expect uh, during the upcoming swing. Now, in addition to the channels, the vertical price lines will also be drawn on the screen. And as often as not, uh, primarily the major uh, horizontal price lines will provide support and resistance uh, during the swing. Another characteristic of the roadmap chart is that price tends to run away from a channel. Once it uh, hits a channel, it tends to react off it in, in either direction. So that's a lot of information very quickly uh, about the roadmap charts. Uh, but I think it's sufficient for you to practice uh, with roadmap charts and, and try and draw some and, and, uh, and you know, use them over time and work with them. In the next video, we're going to use the roadmap chart, all the Square of Nine training software, to provide the information you need to do price and time squarings and to provide an explanation of the rotations and look ahead function.